If you're watching this video, that means you are either planning to buy an eGPU or you are interested in the product. And in this video, I'm going to give you all the reasons why you shouldn't be interested about this product and why you shouldn't buy a eGPU. And the concept of the product is really cool. You can have a very thin and light notebook which you can carry around for your work or your travel but when you come home you can connect your thin and light notebook to your external GPU and you have a monitor, you have a good keyboard, you have a good mouse and you have a complete gaming setup to game when you reach home but when you get closer it starts to get muddier and muddier. Most eGPUs requires a very fast connection point at a minimum of Thunderbolt 3 or equivalent and most laptops doesn't have that connection point. So when you are planning to buy an eGPU, make sure that your laptops support that kind of connection. And while we are talking about the connection, that connection is the biggest bottleneck for an eGPU because GPUs in itself requires a very high bandwidth or a very high speed connection. That's the reason they use PCIe rather than any any other connect but the problem is even though if you have Thunderbolt 4 or a higher even then you may not be utilizing your GPU to the full it doesn't matter what kind of GPU you have whether it's a flagship over a thousand dollar GPU or a budget $200 GPU you may not be getting the hundred percent of that GPU is capable of and obviously you need to buy a separate GPU but that is on your hand what kind of GPU you want you want a budget GPU or you want a flagship GPU and yes there are some GPU enclosure or some eGPUs or external GPUs that comes with a internal GPU in themselves but again they cost very high compared to that standalone external GPU and even then there are some GPU enclosures which comes with a proprietary connection that means if your laptop doesn't have that kind of connection it's not gonna work and most of the time those proprietary connectors only work with that particular manufacturer's laptop or that particular manufacturer's product and lastly you need to buy that GPU enclosure in itself and that cost from 200 to 500 dollars and if we add all that up even at a budget end you need to at least spend 500 dollars to have an external GPU setup and at that point I would suggest you be happy with the laptop that you have buy a console whether it's PlayStation or Steam Deck or heck you can try to build a second-hand PC which might be even powerful than adding an external GPU to your laptop and while we are talking about laptop if we were talking about five six seven years ago when these GPU eGPUs were coming in the trend at that point yes it kind of made sense because most slim and light laptops didn't have capable enough GPUs and most gaming laptops are very thick and bulky where traveling with them or portability didn't even make sense with those but nowadays most modern laptops are not only thin and light they have capable inbuilt GPU where you can easily play games and even if you look at dedicated gaming laptops they have shrank down in size that you can carry those laptops around without having a back pain and that's the reason why I said that even though the product in itself the idea in itself is good but when we look at the cost it isn't cheap and at the same time you are not getting your hundred percent of your money's value and that's why you should spend that extra money to buy a better laptop or as I said buy a console buy a second-hand PC and you would be better off but you would not be better off without liking my video so I would suggest you go ahead like this video if you liked it if you haven't hit the dislike you can do it feel free to do it and if you want to watch more videos from us check out this video right here and if you want to subscribe well do it by here and there's Akash I'll see you guys in the next one peace